Alright, here we go with my first haul video for February, which I think January only did one, I think. Which is cool because I didn't buy that much stuff. But uh, this is for the first week of February. And actually his first item here in the brown box, the Baroness 6 scale figure, exclusive version, was, actually showed up on the 31st of January. So really I could have done a haul video for um, the last day of January, but I, I didn't do it. Anyway, so I got that. And you can kind of see it, the other thing peeking out right here is my... Uh, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Season 2, Volume 1, which I got the first season, I don't know if it was like the first season, Volume 1, or how I broke it up. I just remember watching this show like like on Sunday mornings, you know, Mom and Dad are sleeping in, and I would go turn on the TV, and this is what I watched. Um, I don't really remember the black and white. I more remember the color with the flying sub and all that, which that starts in this season. So that's pretty cool. I got that for like 5 bucks or something like that. Uh, my wife she went and bought me some uh, books for Christmas, and this is one of them she got me. She got the uh, Lego minifigure year by year, a visual history. Um, she actually got me the visual dictionary, I think it was, the Star Wars Lego visual dictionary, which I already had two copies of because I wanted an extra of the uh, the uh, Lego figure in that one, which is Ceremonial Luke. I wanted another one of those. So, yeah. She got me that, another, uh, that one by mistake, which is cool, and they went to go buy one, but there was none in the store. Oh, and check this out. I went to go buy one in the store, and this is a $40 book, right? We went to, uh, I want to say Barnes & Noble. So it's 40 bucks. Alright, cool. I, I can see that. You know, it's kind of a thick book. I mean, this is really the only book part. Everything else is for the figures. But then it comes with three figures, too. So I, I can kind of see 40 I'd expect more like 35 but okay, 40 So they go in there, and the one they have in stock is missing figures. So the lady's like, well, we can order online. They go online... And ordered it for like nineteen ninety nine plus tax, and had it shipped to the house for free. That makes no sense whatsoever. So if they had a copy in store, it would have been forty dollars minus my membership ten percent plus tax, or however they figured the membership and tax. So still you're looking at you know, all, basically forty bucks in store. But since it's uh, they have it online for half price. You have to wait for somebody to box it up and ship it to get it at half price. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever at all. If they show it in stock and it's in good condition or you'll accept it, they should give you the online price. I digress. Anywho, I haven't actually dug into this yet. I'm just going to flip through it, but it looks pretty cool. It doesn't have every single minifigure, but it has a lot of them. All right, so then the only day... In the past like two or three weeks, I've gone out to a hunting. It was like last Friday. It was the thirty-first, which probably shouldn't have done because now I'm short a little bit of money. But eh, whatever. Um, so like I said, I got the Baroness six skull figure, which this thing um, was paid for. It just took like a week or two for it to get here. I haven't opened it up yet. I just opened up the box, and I was like, you know, I'll wait and do an unboxing for this. So an unboxing for the uh, Baroness will be coming. But I did pick up a Saga Legends Fet, which I wasn't gonna get the five points of articulation figures. But I grabbed the Stormtrooper, saw the Fett, I've got a Vader. Those are like the three that I look for. Those are the three figures that I judge a Star Wars series by, a figure series by, you know, because they all have different articulation or, or potentials for articulation, all different paint schemes and uh, stuff. And so, yeah, I mean, they kind of suck. Um, if I wasn't such a big Star Wars fan, I wouldn't have gotten them. Um, if I had kids that were Star Wars fans, I would probably get them for them because they're like five ninety nine dollars at Toys R Us. But anyway, so I got, yeah, I got fit. And I went and I got myself a creeper. Because I talked about last time I needed a creeper. So I got me a creeper. And did find the survival set that comes with the um, wooden weapons. And the, the extra parts and stuff, which is kind of cool. I'll probably get some of the paper craft stuff too, just because it looks pretty neat. I haven't seen, uh, seen a little bit of it, but I haven't actually really looked at any videos of it. The coolest stuff that I think that I got is this next stuff, which is like got the Mutagen Man, which he looks awful short for Mutagen Man. And then I got the Kirby Bat. These are fairly new. Um, and then I got me a couple of Squirrelinoids. And I think there was three or four in the episode, so I'll probably have two open and one in the box. So I'll open up one of these for a review, I guess. And then uh, put one away with my uh, boxed collection of turtle stuff. And uh, yeah. Pretty cool. It's got the alien right there. It's pretty ah. Uh... <laughs> In no way are we related at all. We're totally separate intellectual properties. Okay. Um, 
Then these I found I wasn't gonna get for me because I wasn't gonna display them, but because the regular figures are so cool, um, and I did get a set of like Desert Troopers and a set of these guys, and I sold the extra of the or sold these guys, and it basically paid for these two packs and the Desert Trooper pack that I got. And the Desert Troopers were really really cool. I didn't expect to like them that much. I was a big fan of the Halo figures, but I've kind of like stopped buying those. But I might buy a few of these smaller sets. And that's stuff like this. The Call of Duty Zombies. And I didn't just get one. Buy one, get one. 40% off. I went in and got both that they had at the store. Normally I don't roll like that. I like leaving one behind. Like the Squirrel Noids. I left like... Um, I found those at each at different stores. So I left uh, one, one of each at the store. And I left a Kirby Bat. And I left a uh, Mutagen Man. Didn't see a, a Casey or what I got in it. But normally I leave. If there's multiples, I usually leave one. Because I'm not, I'm not greedy and... Figure somebody else or, you know, a kid or somebody that, aside from like a scalper or hardcore collector or something like that, somebody else, give them a chance again. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to pick these two up because I know I want one for me to open and I'll probably uh, trade or sell them away. I don't know, I might open up two. I don't know, we'll see. Those are awesome. And then I found this this morning, which I probably shouldn't have got, but... And that was the Black Cat from the Skyline Sirens, which um, I went through these after somebody else did and they went through and just looked at the bottoms right and it was like shh, 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 shh. went through looked at all of them he grabbed the carnage and was gone so i was like oh let me look and see what's left because we rolled in the store right as they opened at the same time and then when i went through there they had um the uh electro spider-man they had the whatever this guy's name is bug dude up there not this guy but the other guy and then uh, they had a, a superior. Um, and then in the very back, they had Black Cat. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I can't believe I didn't get the Black Cat. Because she, she's like the hottest one right now. And it's like the only one out of the series I want. Like, I don't even want the, um, the other uh, Skyline Siren, which is the uh, Spider Woman. I'm like, eh, whatever. But I really wanted the Black Cat to go with my Marvel Legends that I've had forever. And I've got a pretty good, you know, Spider Man rogues gallery. The guy left it, and then I was cruising around, and he went up in the same area again. Look over, he's like, oh, where'd you get the black cat? Did you get that before I went over there? I'm like, no, dude, you left it. He's like, what do you mean I left it? And I was like, he goes, I didn't see it once it said black cat on it. I'm like, I know, because it's a Skyline Sirens. He's like, oh, yeah, it's one of those. I'm like, yep. He's like, oh, I just saw the Spider-Man, and I didn't even look on the other side, because I guess he was looking like, I don't know. Oh, but I got lucky. I almost missed out on her, that's all I'm trying to say. So, she'll get opened up at some point and reviewed. Um, go into my uh, Spider-Man collection, but there you go. And further down the road too, I'll probably go through and, and do a uh, Mara Jade Black Widow head swap kind of thing. But yeah, that's what I got for the first week of February. Thanks for watching. Hope this wasn't too long and boring. Um, just real quick, let me show you. I kind of redone my stuff here. Put up all my Thundercats, and I got my uh, big ad ad off the floor, and I got all my um, ATSTs hanging out below it. Snow speeder up there. Just kind of redid this stuff a little bit because I had to pull everything out to get a uh, helmet that fell back there. Um, so just kind of redid this stuff a little bit. This is all pretty much the same. So yet again, thanks for watching. Hope it wasn't too long, and uh, keep on buying the, the plastic stuff and, and all that. <laughs>